Good morning, here we are again. I'm Vaitra Dreina and I am showing you another little tutorial today. Several people have asked us to talk about crinoline, so I thought I'm going to give it a little go and see what I can do in a few minutes to tell you about crinoline. Crinoline comes in many, many widths. Um, it comes plated and comes fine. You can have it from one inch onwards, one inch plated, one inch coarse, one inch fine. You can have four inch, three inch, six inch and even eight inch. The eight inch one is fantastic because you can create very large brims. What you have to remember is when you work with crinoline there's coarse and there's fine. The coarse is often used for brims, the fine is used for soft hats or for fraying or for little trimmings. It can also be used for brims of course but if you want a large brim uh, standing you want to use coarse and the 8 inch you can imagine how large a brim would become with that. Here is a little sample of a 8 inch B, uh, that's actually a 6 inch, a 6 inch being pulled in they get wider and if you had an 8 inch it would be that wide. And when you, uh, you can add wire onto the edge of, a crin of, of crinoline, you zigzag the wire on with a sewing machine and this is a cotton covered one. Afterwards you can cover it with a satin band if you so wish or you could use a plastic wire, what's called brim weight. And in this little little doodah, as you can see, you could wear it uh, cute like that. Not my type of hat, but lots of people suit that. Or the way the new fashion is um, more so this this uh, from this year onwards, I guess we are seeing more and more um, hats are being worn in the middle of the head rather than the left or the right. But by the end of the day, you wear them what's right for you. So this one here has a brim reed in it, the plastic wire you can get in black and in white, and it can be zigzagged with the well, will be zigzagged with the sewing machine. The thing you need to remember, you must use a ball pin sewing needle with the sewing machine because otherwise you're getting little sort of pulls happening. What I have got here, a few little samples for you to see how you can um, manipulate the crinoline and you can open it and you can see that against my jumper how you can make little patterns in it or you can make holes in the the crinoline as you go around to shape it and from there make it decorative. There's another few pieces, I put that down here on the table so it's easier for you to see the different patterns what is possible to be done by just opening the fiber and this particular crinoline is the coarse one so you will create with coarse a different look than if you would be using a fine. The fine makes very easily holes and stays where the coarse moves rather than making holes and it can look very attractive. There's a cotton thread in crinolines and you would pull the cotton thread in as so and that gives you the look of very quickly um, a little shape depending on how much crinoline of course you would choose from 60 centimeters to a meter and a half that's and then I can cut away the top of my crinoline and from there pull that which distresses the cinema, uh, the crinoline. Crinoline is made from plastic, used to be made from horsehair, and you have a little explosion very quickly by distressing it in this way. Another thing you can do, use the one inch and pull them in with the cotton thread as I just have shown, and you end up with lovely little, what I call them bobbers, but you could make little flowers with that stitch them on with beads and they become trimming as we have used in this headpiece here and become lovely little fillers. And the, the crinoline can be sprayed amazingly beautiful if you don't get the color you want 
with a, with a product called Design Masters. And the Design Masters come in a huge range of uh, colors. I just showed you here a few. This is the, the normal colors. The tin is that large for spraying, just changing the color. And the little ones are glitter sprays. What you would be putting on top um, of the material when you have finished and you want that little bit of a glitter and it doesn't look tacky at all, it just gives it that three-dimensional lift. The glitter sprays are amazing and they come in six colors I think or six or seven. We have them in stock, you can buy them off our website and we do ship uh, Australia-wide. Unfortunately we can't get it overseas because of being a flammable goods. So they dry also within seconds Great for veiling, crinoline, um, you can do concrete with it, you can do leather with it, you can do wood with it. The um, sprays are very versatile indeed and they don't wash out, they don't smell and they take a very, very short time to dry. So that I think is all I can tell you today about the crinoline. I hope you learned something and I'll see you next time for whatever the next thing will be. Have a happy day.